Good afternoon from the island like no other. Do they still brand themselves as that? Check out the latest updates, starting with Detonator, which is currently closed for maintenance. Obviously needs maintenance, fair enough. This actually was bought in as a temporary ride, but it did so well at the park that you just decided to keep it. And yeah, you can see it's definitely something permanent now with all of the new facade that it's got. Very, very nice. Cheers. Got the mug, the ride ain't open though. A little pit stop before stealth, which has just closed but if you don't know you can get these loyalty cards and after 10 donuts i think it is you can uh, get a free one so definitely recommend doing that if you eat a lot of donuts at four park i always go for this one da -da 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 -da. Done. stealth has been closed for about five or six minutes it's actually planned to be maintenance and planned to be closed on monday and tuesday that's the 17th and 18th of june we believe it's for a rumored cable change I'm not too sure how true that is certainly busy on park today with it being the first Saturday since Hyperia opened. Well, technically, it's closed again. Just to let you know, if Hyperia is closed on your visit, which is seeming very likely at the minute, you can get a lot of the Hyperia merch now in the island shop. Walking Dead the ride. Will it have axes in? Let's see. Sonia, 20 minute wait as well. I've just come out of Walking Dead and do you know what, that's such an overhated coaster. I, I have a soft spot for the Walking Dead, especially when they've got two actors on the exit, which they had today and they were scaring loads of people. And the worst dark ride, in my opinion, in the UK anyway, goes to Ghost Train. Big Easy Boulevard and Amity area. It's probably one of my favourite areas in the UK. It's just, the theming's good, but it's just, it's just the atmosphere in the summer. It's just so nice. And Detonator's refurb as well. It was really, really nice. And actually earlier, I had a ride on Colossus for like the first time in ever. And it was actually pretty good. Okay, it wasn't smooth. Let's not go that far. But it was a decent ride. Yes, it's a bit head banging and the new track doesn't really make that much of a difference, to be honest. It needs new trains. Do you know what? Overall, it was actually a pretty enjoyable ride. If only it had lap bars and new trains, I think that would make such a huge difference to the actual ride. But here's Detonator. Probably my favourite flat ride in the UK, or second favourite maybe. Melstrom's pretty good. Sunset Cinema. I watched that. I wasn't a huge fan of Ready Player One, to be honest. I believe there is actually a full movie on it, but I haven't watched the full movie, so I wasn't really too keen on the actual 4D experience. And the chairs just felt a little... It just didn't really fill in time, to be honest. It truly is the little details. 30 minutes for Nemesis Inferno. Not too bad on a Saturday. We're going to head around and do stealth. Nemesis Inferno and Swarm, fingers crossed, in the next two and a half hours, if we can. I love stealth. No matter how fast or tall accelerated coasters go, I'll always love stealth. Especially with its hydraulic launch, which are very rare nowadays. We only waited 30 minutes for it as well, which is a bonus, definitely. We saw some security going through the queue. I assume that's for the new reporting system, where you can like scan the QR codes in the queue, and then, uh, yeah, reports on for queue jumping. And security actually do come most of the time, which is pretty good. All these little improvements that help enhance the guest experience, especially here with Fort Park. Queue jumping used to be really bad here a few years ago. This empty space here is about as subtle as a brick through a window. Like, someone needs to go there. They always have like a little stage here for Mardi Gras, to be fair. The weather has been eat or eat or. That was, that was meant to be a seesaw, by the way. It's been like that all day today. Like we've had some sun, we've had some rain, we've had some clouds. We've had every single weather except from snow, hail, yeah. I love Tidal Wave. Saying that, I barely go on it, but yeah. The little passageway has been all boarded up with fencing. If you know that one, you know. The beach at Fort Park takes up so much land. Imagine if this was all flattened and a big new roller coaster or flat ride here in the future. And most of the time it's closed and it's only really open in the summer. I've always seen Amity Beach as such a good potential space to use for future developments. Like it's such a big area and most of the time it's just wasted because you can't even go on it most of the time. It's closed today and it's only really open in the summer, but it is a really nice place when it is open. But in the future, definitely a big, nice coaster here, potentially a family coaster, even a few flat rides, but it does feel a little bit like a wasted space potentially. And also here, they used to have a few water slides a few years ago, which wasn't great, but there was something to do here on Amity Beach, wet, 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 not the band. Um, but yeah, that, was, that wasn't funny, was it? Something that does always seem to have a queue though, is depth charge. We're going around to the Swarm now, have a ride on this. So we've just come from the Swarm and the Swarm's closed. And also ghost trains having downtime now as well. There's one or two reasons ghost trains can be closed. One, because of weather, or two, because too many of the actors are in Walking Dead the ride. The scene as a lot of stuff is closed. Nemesis in the Inferno is on 35. Not too bad. Beautiful time.
timing. Look at that. And now there's blue skies and sunshine. It just doesn't make sense. There's a guy at the front saying that he really wants to go front row and that he's keeper front row, so he should have front row. But the operators are saying that's the last ride of the day, so I'm, I'm not too sure. Oh, yes! You know this is one of the only two versions of this roller coaster outside of the US. I tell you what, Nemesis and Bono have some of the best staff on park. Yeah, they do. Honestly, the ride has some of the incredible team. It was someone's birthday on the train, and basically sat, they sang like they said, well, they didn't sing, but they said happy birthday to the guy, and it was like happening in the station. It's little bits like that that'll make someone's day. That guy will go home remembering on his 27th birthday. Great, great team on Nemesis and Bono, and they're dispatching the trains quicker than quicker than something. And because of those quick dispatches, we only waited around 25 minutes. I can see clearly now the blue sky's gone. It's gone. It's always good to have a ride on stealth, but I tell you, oh, some people at Fort Park, honestly, literally, you know the end, right at the end, the end row of stealth, it's got a big gate, because it's obviously it's accessibility, and they've got, yeah, basically a big gate to allow like wheelchairs in, and if you exit the ride, you can actually enter, or basically queue jump, into the last bit, last air gate of the ride, and these two little boys did it, and then he said, I don't give a... <laughs> Yeah, and yeah, you say, yeah, and um, that's what he said, so. But yeah, we have about five minutes left here at Fort Park. We're going to head over to Swarm, do that, and uh, call it a day. It's been a very good one today, actually. We've got an Hyperia, that's the main thing that we came for. Obviously, I wanted more rides, but let's not be greedy. So many people didn't get on today. In around 24 days, I'll be over in Port Ventura, riding Red Force, Shabala, Dragon Khan, and all of this rain will be a distant dream or a distant memory for about five days. I do like Rush over there, but over the last few years it's just become not as good as it used to be, dare I say. It just didn't swing as high as it maybe used to, but yeah. It's got a nice repaint for 2024, it's not going anywhere really. Storm Search here as well, another one that's not going anywhere. Always gets pretty big queues to be fair. It's 5.59 and it's a 20 minute wait for the Swarm. 59, it's about to turn 6 here at Thorpe. I love the swarm. Meow. 20 minutes, that's the biggest lie since they said the Hyperion would be open today, all day. Now I've heard rumours that these vestry plates don't actually lock anymore, which I think is true, because last time I came three weeks ago, it didn't feel like they came in nowhere near as much as they did my previous visit and also last season. So I'd be definitely interested to notice it more now to see if the vestry plates lock. Thank you so much for this cheeky vlog from Fort Park today. Uh, there was an update that I did want to show you, but the, the security around here don't really like you going in the park too much after it's closed. But here's some pictures of the new garden that Thor Park got set up. That's basically for the Euro football. So they've got that all set up. There's a pub down there, there's a Ben Jerry's ice cream stand. So I think it's a nice little addition. They've even laid some Astro stuff as well, which looks really, really nice. And the only quick thing I want to mention is, is that the dome. I really wish they'd do something with this at Fort Park because it looks all right. But I don't know, it's just, it's just not the nicest nicest of entrance i think to a park potentially even rip it down and have some sort of permanent space for hotel users i think that's definitely something for a park can improve on the next few years getting a permanent hotel getting some permanent facilities for the hotel as well definitely something they can do but thank you so much for watching if you haven't go and check out the hyperia vlog that was definitely a very interesting one and with that said i'll see you in the next video Bye bye